In this video I'm going to show you how to create bundles one at a time using BrightPearl. It's also worth seeing these other videos, Introduction to Bundles, Assemblies and Customization, which introduces the concepts and the terminology, Creating Bundles using a Spreadsheet, and then How to Use Bundles on Sales Orders and Bundles on Purchase Orders. So bundles are used in the scenario where all the components of that bundle can still be sold separately to other customers all the way up to the point when the bundle is sold. Components are not assembled. So for a bike wheel, where you'd build up a wheel from rim, spokes and hub, the components are not available separately once they've been built. So that's an assembly, not a bundle. With a bundle, the components are added to the order when the bundle SKU is added. And that can either be when you save the sale in back office, or when the sale is downloaded from your e-commerce channel or marketplace. So we're going to build a bundle here, a tennis racket with three balls, made up of a tennis racket and a pack of balls. We've actually chosen to price this bundle at $5 cheaper than the separate component parts to give our customers a special offer, which highlights the need for a separate SKU at a separate price. Here we have the components in Bright Pearl. We've got the tennis balls at $20 and the racket at $100. To create the bundle, we actually just hit Add a new product. In the Product Info tab, give it a name, give it a category, give it a SKU, and then in the Stock or Inventory tab, we select no because there's no stock level for a bundle. It's only the stock level of the components that matter. In the prices tab, add the price that you want this bundle to sell for. And then the important thing is from the bundle tab to choose yes. This product is a bundle of other items. We now need to add the components. So on the left hand side, let's search for tennis, which is just a keyword that might be in the SKU or the name. For each component you want to add, click it once and it'll appear on the right hand side. This is the product name, the product ID, and how many you want in the bundle. And then let's add a tennis racket as well. That's all we need to do. Let's hit save changes, which takes us back to the product list where we can see the bundle we've created. You can tell it's a bundle because the background is this gray blue color. If you want to find all bundles in your system, simply go products, bundles. When I add this bundle to a sales order, let's just search for tennis and choose the racket with three balls, you see it's coming in at $115. When I save the sale, the components show below and it's the components we're actually fulfilling and shipping. When you connect BrightPull up to an integrated online sales channel, such as Amazon, eBay or an e-commerce store, any simple product on your store connected to a bundle in BrightPull with the same SKU will automatically be exploded into the component parts when the order is downloaded from that sales channel. But what about inventory level for these bundles? If the bundle itself doesn't have an inventory level, what can we do? Now with our Amazon and eBay integrations, we actually send up to the sales channel the effective inventory level based on the quantity available of the components. So here we've got an Amazon product, which is a couple of lights, and Amazon says that there are 13 left in stock. Perhaps we've actually got 20 of one of the items, but because we've only got 13 of one of them, that means we could only sell 13 of the bundles. And with Amazon, just like eBay, this is a single product on the marketplace, and that's just connected to a bundle by having the same SKU as the Bright Pearl item. Currently, this concept of effective inventory levels of bundled products is only available for our Amazon and eBay integrations. If you missed them, now's a good time to go and check out the videos Introducing Bundles and Assemblies, Creating Bundles by Spreadsheet, and Bundles on Sales and Purchase Orders.